Okay, so now that we've set up your funnel um, and your domain, it's time to start marketing. So as part of this community, our most popular marketing tool is TikTok uh, because of the algorithms and many reasons you will learn throughout your training. So we're gonna start setting up your TikTok account first. Since TikTok is primarily used on a mobile device, I'm going to show you the setup through uh, a mobile mobile device using my Android. So the first thing you want to do is go into your app store, so your Google Play or your Apple store, look for the TikTok app and download and install it. Once that's done, go ahead and open it up. It's going to ask you if you want to receive notifications per um, very much a preference thing. So if you want them, allow them. If you don't want them, don't allow them. You can change lists later. So don't put too much time and effort into thinking about it. Just pick one and away you go. It's gonna ask you to choose your interests. Uh, this is more or less just to start the algorithm. And you'll hear that come up more and more as we go through different trainings. Uh, but just pick a few that you're interested in. Ultimately, the algorithm will adjust to what you are posting and scrolling. And then go ahead and swipe up. It's going to take you into your TikTok account. Okay, so now we're in the app and we need to actually set up an account. So on the bottom right corner, you're going to click on that profile. And it's going to ask you to log into TikTok. Now, if you already do have an account, you're welcome to log in and use that one. But if you don't have an account, you're going to sign up at the bottom. So click on sign up. And then you want to sign up using either Facebook with Google or use a phone or email. I recommend going with a phone or email and make note of which phone number or email that you're using. You'd be surprised at how many people forget that, including myself. So give yourself some grace if you do. All right, so now you need to choose a unique email or you can use your phone number. If you want to use your phone number, make sure you select the phone on the top left, but we're gonna do it through email. And then you're gonna create a password for that email. And again, make note of the email and the email, the phone number and the password that you are using for future reference. Um, again, it's easy to forget. We all know that there's passwords everywhere. So let's make note of that, whether you use a notebook, um, a document, whatever works best for you. Now you're going to create a nickname. This nickname can be changed, uh, I believe it's every seven days. So uh, again, don't put too much thought into it. Just select something. Uh, the nickname can be used in algorithms and search and uh, search functions. So you may want to think about something that has something to do with your niche or the business that you're trying to build. And again, can be changed later. So don't put too much thought into it. When is your birthday? You want to put that in because you cannot go live until unless you are 18 years old. So make sure you put your birthday in so they can uh, confirm that. Once this is done, you are going to get a verification email either to your email or to your phone, whichever one you set up. So make sure you select that email um, and verify. Now with find contacts, personally, I recommend not allowing. This will allow the algorithm to go outside of your friend zone, outside of your contacts and uh, reach people that you wouldn't normally reach. Next screen, we're going to add a photo to your profile. So just go ahead and click on add. And then it's going to ask if you want to take, take a photo or upload a photo. I went with upload a photo, a couple of tips for your photo. Make sure it's clear of yourself. This gives people an idea of who you are, uh, lets them know that you're actually a real person and just gives you some credibility. So you're just gonna go ahead and select that picture. Um, you also want to have something that's got possibly like a clear, bright background because you wanna stand out in those sea of faces. So I'm gonna select this one. It's probably not my ideal picture, but I'm gonna go ahead and select it anyway for the purpose of this video. And then we're just going to go ahead and click down at the bottom corner here.
All right, so this is giving you an opportunity to adjust your photo. So you can move the photo up or down to try and get yourself in the frame nicely. And then once you're happy with where it is, just go ahead and save and then go ahead and save and post. And there you go. There's your initial profile setup. Next up we're going to do is your bio. So go ahead and uh, add a bio. You're limited to characters here. So just something short and sweet. Um, I just said I help people build their dreams of travel lifestyle. Now, until you get to a thousand followers, you will not have a clickable link in your bio. And that is something we can get to later. But once before then, you want people to be able to find you. So if they look at your profile, you want your domain to be in there. So just go ahead and type it in. Your customers won't be able to click on it, but at least they'll be able to see it and hopefully visit your website to purchase your product. And now we have the setup screen with your with your photo and your bio and your photo will go down into your story. So that will technically be your first post. Now you can also edit your profile. So most of these fields are self explanatory. All of them again can be changed at a later time. So don't worry too much about any of this stuff. So you can just go through and add what you want or don't want. You can go ahead and add your Instagram or your YouTube addresses, which we will go through in further videos. Um, but you can leave it for now or you can add what you know for now. And again, you can come in and adjust it later. Now the top right corner is a hamburger menu. So this is where you're going to find a lot of different settings. Um, again, it's something that you don't necessarily need all of the time. Uh, so I'm just going to go through a couple of the big ones and then you can kind of go through and scroll and learn on your own. Uh, but creator tools is the first option. And this is just kind of where you want to go in for your analytics. Uh, so you can see how your videos are performing, how your account is performing and things like that as you learn and grow with TikTok. Um, balance, we won't worry too much about just if you start, uh, if your TikTok account does get huge, you can actually start earning on TikTok. So something to look at in the future. And then your QR code is just simply a QR code or your link. So you can actually copy your link uh, to your TikTok profile and people can come and find you. And then the last option is the settings and privacy. And this is the one we're going to look at a little more in depth, but this has a lot more information, a lot more settings that you can add or delete as you move along. So for now, just leave everything as default, but we're going to look at the privacy settings. Uh, and then comments, and my apologies, my arrow is just a little below, so just look at the comments there. And that's going to take you to this screen. So these are things that when people are commenting on your videos, you can adjust. So you want everybody to be able to comment because you're going to ask people to uh, request info. Um, as we move, on, move along, you'll learn what all of that means, but you're going to want everyone to be able to comment. I would not recommend filtering all comments because you're going to be so busy that you don't want to have to go in and edit every comment every time. But you can filter spam and offensive comments, and you can also filter keywords. So with that being said, things like scam or scheme or as you do videos and you do lives, you're going to learn different words that kind of stand out that you're going to want to block. So this is where you go to block that is within that filter keywords. So then anytime one of those keywords is used, it will be blocked until you approve it. And if you look down at the bottom, there's the section of review filtered comments. So this is where those comments are going to go. And if you choose to approve it, you can, or you can just remove it either one. All right, so that's it. You have successfully set up your TikTok account. You are now ready to post and get that link shared.